Hey, Julian from AWS here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to get started with Amazon SageMaker Ground Truth, our dataset labeling service. Of course, the first step is to go to the SageMaker console. And the first thing we want to do is to define the workforce for the labeling job. So a workforce is basically a group of people who are going to work on data annotation. So you can create three types of workforces. So the first one, let's start with this one, is the private workforce. And that's the one I'm going to use. A private workforce is made of people that you know, people from your company, uh, people that you can um, uh, identify uh, with email, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you can also work with vendor, um, a vendor workforce. A vendor workforce is basically a workforce made of people working for a third-party company that we've uh, approved and, and integrated on the platform. And you can find more about available vendors in the AWS marketplace. And the third option is to use Amazon Mechanical Turk. And this is the, the one to use if you really need to scale to you know, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of workers, because you have uh, a very, very large data set to work on. Here I'm going to create a private workforce. Um, so let's just click on this, give it a name, invite workers by email or import them from a Cognito pool. So Cognito is one of our authentication services and in a, in a real life setting, in an enterprise setting, probably you would already have users managed by Cognito. So that's probably the one you'd want to use, but here I'm just going to Keep it simple and invite myself by email. Provide an org name. Why not? And a contact email. So I'm going to put my email again. So this contact email is where workers would send questions. And this is really important because, especially when you're starting um, uh, to work on a new data set. Um, you're, you're, as we'll see in a minute, you're going to provide instructions to workers. And, uh, and of course, it's important that they can uh, ask questions, provide feedback. Uh, maybe instructions are not 100% clear. Maybe some data samples are ambiguous or, or weird and they don't know how to label those. So um, that feedback is important and uh, it will help you uh, improve the quality of your labeling jobs. And we could have an SNS topic if we wanted. Uh, to notify workers that uh, um, work is available. So let's not do that here. Okay, so just create the private team. And as you can guess, this is going to send me an email um, that I need to approve. Okay, uh, and so I can see here that the invitation was sent and I need to change my password, right? So uh, so let me do that offline and, uh, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I did receive an email from Ground Truth with a temporary password and a login URL. So this is where I'm at right now. So let's just sign in and I guess I can change the password. So now we have to come up with a strong password. Let's see if we can get this right. Okay, so this is my worker console, so to speak. And of course here, I don't see any available work. Uh, let's uh, just leave this uh, this window open, but, but basically now I'm, I'm registered as uh, as a worker and if i go back and reload this page it should show whoops this one here i mean yes okay it shows i am verified and my team is ready to get some work done okay so um, let's move on to the next step in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a labeling job all right see you in a minute